hello to all of the beautiful souls watching um thank you so much for clicking on this pick up art video this video is going to be all about as you can tell by the title um is he or she the one um whoever you're currently dealing with or if there's someone in your life already or uh, if you have like a suspicion if they're the one or not um this video is going to clear that out i'm going to be delivering all of the psychic and intuitive messages that are going to come through in this video and um, we got three options you can definitely choose more than one um, but choose the ones that are really calling out to you and, uh, and you're really being drawn to um, and the timestamps are going to be given in the descri description box below um, so yeah with that let's move on to the option number one but before that let me just say let me just tell you of the options the first option is the white raven spirit the second option is the rabbit spirit and the third option is the hawk spirit so uh, without further ado let's hop into the first option which is the white raven spirit okay so um if you've chosen option number one or the white raven spirit um which has trust in the magic uh, message on it and the number is 66 um yeah i got the six of pentacles for you son of swords which is i believe um knight of swords in this deck um ace of swords the lovers and the death at the bottom of the deck it's funny because i get if i got the death twice in this um reading i feel whoever is thinking about um is there not the one whoever it is on your mind while watching this video you, if you chosen option number one i feel that they are not the one for you um yeah they're just simply not i cannot state it um even simpler than this but that's what my guides are telling me and they're just really clear about this person whoever they are i don't know why they're so strict about it um usually when i do any tarot readings i get like slipped back and like you know i just relax and i deliver the messages as they come um it's not really so strict as to and it's not so constrained by the title of the video however for this one it's weird but like my guides are so adamant about it and they want me to deliver this message that whoever is thinking okay um so yeah i don't know why but like it's just that they want me to tell you like whoever you are who chose option number one is a white raven whoever you're thinking about whoever is in your mind is on your mind while you're watching this video um um and if you have like more than a person on your mind is they're talking about someone who is actually really truly on your mind so you get me okay you should not like you cannot trick yourself in this um i don't feel that it can happen like they're very clear about this person Someone's a Scorpio for sure, I feel. Someone has Scorpio somewhere in their birth chart, but it does not have any, like, you know, relation or, like, it's not necessary or anything. Um, yeah, I don't feel that. Whatever this connection is about, it's just that it is, I see the positive sides of it. Um, however, the negative sides of it, or I should not say the negatives, but, like, um the pitfalls and the downfalls of the relationship kind of weighed down a bit more and it's going to be very or you know what it's just as simply as this like that saying that if two people are meant to be then they'll be together in the end no matter how many hardships or like um obstacles obstacles come in the way however if two people are not meant to be then it just cannot like it just does not work out um i don't know who are you inquiring about but i don't see um a future i don't see your future with them i don't um however it's a general reading so do not take this to your heart take it with a grain of salt and i would again say um that general readings are not always 100 percent accurate if you feel if your gut agrees with this message that you just heard every single thing that i told you only then take the message otherwise down and leave the message behind and yeah 
and move on with your life. If you're in a meaningful relationship and you feel that it has potential and um, you just clicked on this video and you just saw this, you know, um, white raven and you chose it, you know what, it's a general reading. So don't panic yourself. Don't think that it is meant for you. There must be some people who have chosen option number one and maybe the message is not for them and yeah you know um, the spirit the divine is always trying to teach us something all the time in all ways possible so um, I would just say trust your gut the most above all of the messages that you get from all of your surroundings or from any tarot reader or from anyone you know um, I'm just gonna say your gut and intuition is the best tool for you um, I don't know why am I preaching so much in this video, I just don't know, um, but yeah, all I'm gonna say is, um, if I talk about the zodiac signs, I see Scorpio definitely with the death card over here, I also see Gemini, I'm also sensing someone's going to be a Leo, um, okay, I don't know why, but Scorpios are literally ruling this pile, if you've chosen option number one, Either you have some strong Scorpio connection with someone, like either someone is in your life who is a Scorpio who has Scorpio somewhere and there's some moon rising. Scorpios are everywhere in this pile. Oh my god, it's blowing my mind completely. Um, definitely someone is a Scorpio. It could be you, to be honest. Or something happened around um, October or November. I would say November and the latter half of November. Um, or the early, yeah, the early or like the first um, couple of weeks of December also, last week of November and the first week or first two weeks of December, something happened around that time with someone um, could be or something will happen around that time with this person also. Um, however, I see Scorpios like I don't know this is not a coincidence jeez um, yeah um, okay I don't feel that this relationship whatever it is it's something that you truly vibe with you know when we're in a relationship and we feel that yeah we know that this is the right person so you like every single cell in your body is screaming with like um, joy and like you know it deep down in your gut and you know that this person is the one for you everything that happens you know um, just tells you that yeah this person is the one with this person whoever you're inquiring about it's the opposite it's somewhat the opposite in the sense that um, yeah you know what things are just not like I don't feel that they're balanced I don't feel that um, you feel that you deserve this kind of relationship um, yeah I just it's one of those relationships where you just feel that um, I don't see that someone's being super toxic or something I mean it could be it's a general reading however all I'm seeing is that this is simply something which is just not meant to be it's not what the divine has chosen for you and um, we should always and always trust the divine arts for guides they always guide us in the right direction um, this person may not be a bad person or something this person may be someone who you like a lot um, they like you a lot however um, it's more than that oftentimes it's deeper than that and we're not able to see that deep side can we we cannot and the universe knows best and we should let the universe decide I don't know why am I preaching so much um, to you guys in this but I just want you to understand that um, even if you are like truly attached to someone is the universe if universe decides that they're not for you and there's someone else who is for you um, it is for a reason and you will see it because you can only connect the dots backwards I've said it so many times in my videos but that is true it may sound cliche but it is true and um, yeah that's all I'm gonna say for you guys that um, you may not realize it now but you will see it you will um, I feel this is a very personal message very specific to some very few of you or 
probably just to one person i don't know but to very few of you someone's also a fire sign i feel aries leo sagittarius i don't know why that came at the end of the video like that um but yeah someone's very confident very charismatic um very self-conscious and they're self-critic also i hear um yeah it could be you someone loves the color red someone loves a deep red color and someone loves someone <laughs> and i just heard that my guy just saying someone loves someone something about a rose also um why am i getting intuitive messages at the end of the video uh at the end of the pile sorry um so yeah i'm gonna finish off the video right here um any other intuitive messages coming up if you see a feather it's um if you see a feather this message is for you whatever you heard in this video these messages are for you if you see a feather my guy just saying i don't know what yeah okay so um i'm gonna finish off the video right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up um and also subscribe down below if you haven't already it really truly means a lot to me and also um uh comment down below whatever you thought about this video and whatever you would like to see in the future um and also lastly i would like to mention that this is a general reading and you all know by now that uh, general readings are not pertaining to specific people and therefore uh, the collective so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is pertaining to your own personal needs and your personal queries then um, you can check my description box in which you know there's going to be my email and you can email me about that and i will give you the details so yeah you can book the reading a personal reading that way so yeah i'm gonna finish off the video right here hope you all have a lovely day bye See you guys next time. Okay, um, so if you've chosen option number second or the rabbit spirit, uh, the cards I got for you are the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, um, Eight of Wands, the Temperance, and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, and the message on your card is now is a lucky time, and the number is 49. So for you guys, um, I'm sensing that um, there's a Leo in the group. I feel there could also be um, a Scorpio. A Scorpios come every single time. It's no surprise at this point now. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, um, and water signs. Someone, someone has like heavy water energy inside them inside them <laughs> that's so crazy that sounds crazy um in their worst chart <laughs> okay cancer pisces scorpio that's crazy um what are my guides making me say um okay so this file is really interesting and the reason why i say that is now someone is single right now and very strictly single i hear so my guides are saying that this person has literally turned down um, so many people like one after the other like no no like that um, so this person is like yeah they they've literally turned on so many people um, I don't know who this person is could be you could be um, could be you or could be your person I feel an air sign um, Gemini Libra Aquarius however um, whoever this person is they've just literally turned on so many people um, yeah and yeah i see that this person is single whoever they are um yeah so that interesting message that i got for you guys is overall i feel whoever you're thinking about they are like in the beginning it was like they're not the one and then at the end i kind of see a little hope for some people this is the message and for the others i would like to say if you're dealing with someone who has heavy and when i say heavy like literally there's some moon rising or mars should be in an earth sign um if it is the case then yes um they could be the one for you however it's a general reading so um yeah use your own discernment um, but again, I would say that if you're dealing with someone who is, 
who is an earth sign or an air sign even i would say okay yeah even an air sign also um is this could be you know this could be the one whoever they are um else i don't feel like if they're um any other sign apart from that i don't yeah i don't feel that um okay let me see someone is trying to hear right now i see that probably from past relationships yeah are you inquiring about someone who is very emotional who is very deep who is quite um how do i say this person is like um okay they're really into you this person loves you but they're not the one i don't know who they are but um for some people this could be a water sign however the one i was talking about before you know that they could be the one as that has to be an earth sign or an air sign so um it's weird but someone has gone through a lot of trouble a lot of sufferings uh, in their life could be in regards to love um oh someone has not expressed their love also so they have not even confessed their love to you so that's another message i'm getting for you guys um okay oh my god i see that is there someone in your friend circle who's really attracted to you um yeah and maybe you're also kind of fancying this person or you're not yeah you are aware of it but this person feels stuck for some reason maybe they feel that they cannot approach you that way they feel that it's not right to do that or is they just find it inappropriate in like due to whatever reason their brain is giving them however it's just giving them a hard time because of their feelings which are so strong uh, this person has been sitting with these feelings for quite a long time already and um, they've been wanting to diminish these feelings and um, kind of like um, fade away everything that they feel but they're not able to and you know it on some level this is someone who is a friend to you i feel i know why am i getting this like random message uh, all of a sudden i don't know if this person is the one i'm not really getting any um clarity on this person however um if we talk about an earth sign or an air sign i feel that yeah they are why are the readings so specific today it feels like i'm talking to just one person to be honest like i kind of see this person's whole life um it feels weird yeah it was supposed to be general yeah um i hear someone wants to have fun now i don't know what fun means for you but um my guides are saying is they want to have fun in relationships what okay they want to have fun in what is it it's like casual you know they want casual yeah i don't know who this person is but someone wants to have fun right now they don't want serious at all they don't yeah they don't this person does not it's just too much for them or for you this could be you as well like no commitment you're not really up for that commitment sort of thing um yeah i do see that um number 7 is quite significant uh if you met someone in september or october yeah you met someone around that time so september or october um yes or something significant happened around that time also i'm hearing yeah however for you guys i'm just going to say that i'm going to repeat that again air sign earth signs probably a yes however use your own discernment use your own gut and intuition because that's the best tool you can trust and um 
yeah i would say any messages that you get from the outside sources whether it's a tarot reader or anyone choose to listen to your gut uh, first and then yeah so that's what i would like to say and um yeah for the others you know so it's just these two groups earth signs and air signs which are really popping up here so um, i'm gonna finish off the video right here and um if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um subscribe down below if you haven't already comment down below also whatever you thought about this video or whatever you would like to see in the future um and do keep in mind that so is not gonna resonate with every single one of you and that's completely all right um it might have a message for you or something but sometimes the whole reading is not for you and yeah you should just let it be so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me we just cater to your own personal needs and requirements um if you have a personal question that you want to ask you can um choose to email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching and sticking by hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so um if you chose an option number third or the hawk spirit which has the message let spirit be your guide and the number is 32 um i got the son of pentacles which is the knight of pentacles in this deck four of pentacles two of cups five of wands and the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um okay so this part is very interesting as well um for you guys now um okay so the second pile was really interesting as well but for you guys it's a bit more tricky in the beginning when i was asking my guides they were not really giving me a clear signal and just like how spirit guides do it sometimes they just don't want to reveal um yeah they just don't want to reveal sometimes okay so for you guys um okay let me just say this zodiac sign that i'm sensing someone could be a scorpio taurus Gemini, Leo, definitely, Libra, also, um, Cancer, and um, let me see. Yeah, someone is very good looking. Here, they grab a lot of attention. Whoever this person is, um, and someone is a bit heartbroken. Also, okay, moving on. I feel someone is quite intuitive, and they have like. really good psychic powers and stuff okay so for you guys i feel that um whoever um chose option number third um it is a clear no in the beginning i thought that it's a clear no um yeah and um i did see the sun card to be honest so maybe for a very 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 few of you it is a yes and um only if you feel some sort of like a higher higher form of uh, connection with this person so if you've seen this person in your dreams if you met this person before uh, meeting them in the physical world like in your dreams or like on any other plane or if you just felt this really strong connection like you feel that you have you've had past lives with this person or something or you feel that this person is your soulmate or your twin flame um then i feel that yes it could be a yes for you however if it's just not like any of these things um and you're just inquiring about someone who you don't feel such a strong connection with or something and you don't resonate with everything that i just said then i feel it's going to be a no um yeah the majority it's a no i feel um yeah yes i do feel that majority it's a no um okay but if there's someone who you really feel okay for some people if you have like a connection where you do have a lot of arguments and you both do fight and then come back together is that is a very good sign that this person is going to stick with you forever yeah that's another message that i'm getting for you guys um yeah however i feel that you already know deep down whoever you're inquiring about 
I think you already know deep down if they are the one for you or not. If you know that this person is someone who has totally exited your life and um, this person is not going to come back whatsoever and um, so um, I would say give your intuition, you know, you know, set your intuition as a priority and um, yeah, trust that because if you feel that they are not the one for you and you have moved on from them and there's someone better out there that the universe has chosen then that is your story however for some people if this person okay if someone has already broken cords with you like uh, broken cords with you in the sense that they um they've totally like exited your life i i don't feel that this is like it's gonna apply to any ex so if you're inquiring about an ex i yeah it's a no it's a no no, no excess. I don't see any excess coming back. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Truly, I don't. Um, I was just talking about someone who you probably have a good connection with and you guys do have some slight arguments sometimes and you do fight every once in a while. But it's completely alright because this person is going to stick by you. You know, who does not argue? So it's completely fine. However, if, it's a, if it is an ex um, who you don't have any connection with as of now um, the best advice would be for you to move on and your intuition has been telling you to do that for a long time already just forget about it live your life happily and yeah just don't i don't feel that that is the right person for you um i also see that a lot of changes are coming in your life and you're not going to expect this but um is the way you're gonna heal from whoever it is for some people who have chosen off from a third i think you're already stuck up on someone from the past um yeah you're just gonna forget about this person because someone's gonna come around and it's gonna completely take your focus away could be a fixed sign um um yeah they could be a fixed sign they're going to be absolutely opposite from you as well i feel um yeah this person is gonna wear I see that when you both will meet for the very first time, you both will wear different color schemes. So in the sense that one of you will be wearing lighter color colored clothes and the other one would be wearing something of a dark tone. So yeah, that's another thing I'm sensing. Yeah, I do see that. Um, a fixed sign. So that would be Aquarius, Leo. Aquarius is in Aquarius is and leos are in this group for sure i feel that so yeah do keep that in mind as well however um yeah don't don't please excess no no no, no. we don't do that yeah i don't believe in is the um how do i say in the theory that you know that a person will come back to you if they were really in love with you and if they really cared about you that person would have stayed so yeah um that's what i'm feeling that you know um if a person really loves you they would not leave you that's what i know and um a lot of you already know this i feel the people who chose an option of the third are very wise people and they also have a connection with this for guides but sometimes you do slip back into that um, place where you are not really able to listen to your intuition your gut and your spirit guide sometimes and that is the and this is probably the moment when it's happening and um, I want to be that um, medium and I want to tell you that yes your guides do want you to like be in a healthier state they don't want you to be stuck on someone from the past if that person has left your life they've officially left you know who has officially left um so just yeah close the doors on that person don't let that person come back in again yeah it's just not good it's scary right so yeah um with that i feel that i'm gonna finish off the video and i hope it gave you some clarity um on your situation and it helped you in some way if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up that really truly means a lot to me and it really helps me out and also subscribe down below if you haven't already um you can comment down below whatever you think about this video or um 
whatever you would like to say in the future and um, if you do wish to book a personal reading which is only um, cater to your own needs and wants um, yeah it's situation specific so you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time